Hey, um, it is Tuesday evening. Um, Jake is bringing home pizza, which I'm very excited about. Um, I have not been reading or doing anything. Um, so I'm going to film. <laughs> There's a cat trying to eat my phone and upload um my weekly update, and that's gonna be like a new kind of format kind of thing. Oh, baby. That I'm kind of excited about. So uh, let me know what you think. I guess I will probably ask you that already. But anyways, I'm going to do that right now and then try to read. Babe. Babe. What are you doing? Hey guys, um, it's Wednesday morning. Uh, I still haven't finished anything. It's 5.30. Uh, I'm really excited because it's so light outside and it's so early. Um, also, you can hear Jake's alarm in the background, so apologize about that but that's just how he rolls um I still haven't finished this and I honestly I think this is why I'm in a slump because I picked this up like Saturday or Sunday and I was like oh yeah quick little guy that'll be fast but this is taking me forever to read and I'm really frustrated especially because I actually really really like this uh this guy's a big old weirdo so um I'm enjoying this but Again, it has to do with the writing. It's kind of like when I was reading uh, Dubliners by James Joyce. Like, there's just some people whose writing is just more mentally taxing, I guess. And, like, you have to really think. Um, or, like, Beloved by Toni Morrison. Like, just, you know, like, denser, I guess, reads. So, I'm really annoyed. But I do actually think I'll be able to finish this today. Because at this point, I've got, like just a few pages so real hopeful about that um I am going to a show tonight though so I'm seeing Savvy that again uh in case you don't know I'm obsessed with this band I love them so much and they're playing at tonight so I cannot wait um and yeah I guess I should get ready for work probably um I'll see you guys later hopefully I will give you news that I've finished something Hey guys, uh, we are on our way to go see, <laughs> thank you, uh, Savila again, because I like them a lot. Um, we're going with our friend Caitlin um, and her friend, roommate, both uh, Jenna, uh, who is really fun too, who apparently really likes um, them also, so that's very exciting. And I am just so happy. Also, I finished the the little modern classic that I was reading at work today, um, The Garden of Forking Paths um, by Jorge Luis Borges, uh, but I don't know the translator off the top of my head, sorry. Hey guys, uh, so we just got back. Um, that was wild. So uh, Savila opened for this band, um, Combo Chimbita, Combo Chimbita, and this was insane. Uh, so Savila, of course, was wonderful as always. But this was like, hold on, I can't, can't hold the phone with my uh, left hand. Uh, they were so fantastic. It was a mixture of all kinds of things, and it was beautiful. Um, I'm gonna try to remember to link um, them on Spotify or like YouTube or something if I can below, along with Savila, because if you haven't listened to them. You're crazy. They're so wonderful. Um, and yeah, I'm exhausted as past midnight, so I think I'm gonna go to bed without reading. <laughs> it's Thursday late morning. I woke up so late today. Um, I feel, you know, when you sleep too much and you feel like super exhausted, that's how I feel. Um, I kind of think I'm just gonna like chill today because I had two really long days of work. Um, I have a lot of cleaning and things that I need to do. Um, because I have friends coming into town um next week, I think. Uh, but I've got this weekend, so I think I'm gonna use the weekend and uh spend today trying to read a little bit. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to start with some coffee and some booktube though, because I'm honestly so tired right now. 
Hey guys, uh, so I've just read two chapters of uh, the autobiography of Malcolm X, which I'm uh, buddy reading with Patrice, and uh, this continues to be a really, really good. Um, I'm definitely failing as a buddy reader, though. I feel like I'm oh, I'm not, I'm just not good at buddy reading, and I always feel really bad. Uh, so sorry, Patrice. I'm trying really hard. I promise. Uh, this, I'm just bad at stuff. Um, so. Um, I am going to read this next um, three Japanese short stories by Akutagawa and others, and it is all in here, so I will mention that uh, when I talk about this. Uh, and yeah, I actually, first I'm going to make food, and then I'm going to read this, because um, I need to eat. I have eaten very, very little today, unfortunately. That's what happens when you're at home. What a weird day I've had. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, uh, it is Saturday, late morning. I woke up a while ago, um, but I've just, I, <laughs> what the hair in my mouth. Um, there was a possibility that I was going to go do some work today, um, and that is not happening. Uh, so I was kind of like holding off on my plans just in case, but I do need to go to Costco um, and then the grocery store. I'm really nervous that it's going to be super busy because it's a Saturday before Memorial Day or whatever. Um, but I really need to do these things. So I'm going to do that, come home, and then like clean and uh, read. I'm super behind on my 30 books thing. I don't think it's going to happen at this point, but who knows? Maybe I'll get like wild today. Probably not, but one one can hope. Hey guys, uh, so it is still Saturday, Saturday afternoon. I've gone and done all of my like errands that I need to do. Um, and I am going to sit down and I'm going to finish this. I'm seven books behind. I just counted seven books behind on my challenge. So I've got seven baby books. So it's 50 pages each. That's 350 pages. We'll see if I can do that. Um, yeah, I really hit a slump this past week, so it's so disappointing. Um, but this this is so good, and I'm I'm like so I I was gonna finish this last night, but I think I I actually physically fell asleep while I was reading because the book is kind of like dented, and I don't remember putting it away. So I'm gonna go with that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna finish this, and then I will talk to you later. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So um, I finished this and I really really like this this might I don't know this this was so good I was gonna say this might be my favorite of the series so far but I'm not sure uh, so now I'm going to read uh the survivor by Primo Levy and this is translated by Jonathan Galassi and it's um poetry so we'll see how that goes oh. hey um, I forgot to mention that I finished, uh, The Survivor. Um, that was pretty good. Uh, I feel like the beginning was really strong and the end was pretty strong, but in the middle, I got kind of bored. Um, and yeah, that was, that was interesting. And I've actually, oh! <laughs> I just, uh, started Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. Um, I feel like this is going to be a pretty quick read and it's on my TBR, uh, for the month. Uh, so I'm going to get back to it. Um, it is upsetting so far. I mean, like, let me rephrase that. Uh, how she gets put into, uh, McLean is really upsetting. Some guy just decided, hey, you need to go and be institutionalized. Like, I don't understand how that shit can happen and in like the note at the beginning where he is like saying whatever he um reason for referral needed mclean for three years profoundly depressed suicidal increasing patternlessness of life promiscuous might something something or get pregnant uh she doesn't want or uh she doesn't want to return, ran away from home four months ago, living in a boarding house in Cambridge, um, desperate. So, I don't know, I find that to be absolutely insane. Uh, so, it's kind of just like intro-y kind of stuff right now, like various 
instances with different girls in the in McLean with her. Um, so I'm wondering if it's gonna like. I'm sure it will like get kind of more into what actually happens with her, but uh, definitely interesting. Hey guys, uh, I just got back from Derby. It is Sunday late morning, early afternoon. I'm going to start cooking lunch right now. Um, I did go to a coffee shop though, uh, after I was done with Derby and have some coffee and I finished Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. Uh, this was not what I was expecting hundred percent just cause I had seen the movie. So like based on my experience with the movie, um, mostly formatting wise. Um, but you know, it was, it was really, really good. Uh, so I'm going <coughs> to cook food and eat and then I'm gonna pick up um, the autobiography of Malcolm X. Uh, I'm really excited because I feel like I've read more, I mean, it's like uh, all essays and memoirs um, with regards to the nonfiction that I've read this month, but more than zero, which is how much I'd read prior to this month. So pretty pumped about that. Um, my goal is to read this for about two hours. Um, I'd like to get at least two chapters in, um, but I do want to finish this before the end of the month and we're getting close. It's the 25th, I think. Uh, and I've got a lot of reading to do. So, uh, I would like to sit down and read this for at least two hours today. And then I'd sit down, I'd like to sit down and read this for at least one hour today. Um, the seven mad men. And then I would also like to just go ahead and read this whole thing. So I think total that's going to be about like four, four hours of reading, um, that I need to sneak in at some point today. So fingers crossed that that happens. I will keep you updated and maybe I will show you some of the food that I make. I'm going to be making um, rice and platanos and just like stir frying some veggies. So not like super exciting, but I feel like it's going to taste really good. So I'm pretty pumped. I just want to mention too that I've been using this cookbook a lot. Um, I'm trying to eat more vegan. Um, I'm Jake and I are doing like one month vegan, one month pescatarian um, with a couple of meat meals a month um, because if not, I think I would break and just revert back to complete meat all the time. Um, and this cookbook is is really, really enjoyable. Um, so let me see uh, if I can show you what I'm gonna try to make. Sorry, my trash can's right there, not like the best view. Um, yep. So I'm gonna be making this uh, spicy tomato rice, except not spicy, because I can't take spice, but. Um, oh gosh. Oh good. I think, Ooh, I forgot that there's tomatoes in this. Hopefully I have enough tomatoes. Um, I feel like it's hard to, so the rice is way down at the bottom, but I stir fried some veggies and made some platanos also. And I'm very excited. We haven't had these in a long time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a long time. So excited. Also, I'm doing laundry. Ugh. My eyes itch so much. Um, I feel like it's finally calmed down. I put some some allergy eye drops in, and I've blown my nose like probably ten times. <laughs> um, but it's actually super late on Monday. It's uh, Memorial Day, I guess. Um, which means I don't have work. <laughs> um, I did not read any more last night. Uh, so we ended up. I think I'm trying to think of like what I did yesterday. I, I finished Girl Interrupted, and then um, I came home, cooked lunch, ate lunch, and then cleaned a bit, uh, and then showered, got ready, and went to the show. So I didn't really read, and we got back pretty late. Um, so I still have, you know, some books. I really would like to finish both of these by the end of the month, and it's the 27th already. So I need to read today. So I'm going to try to do what I said I was going to do yesterday, which is read like two out, like read Malcolm X for two hours and then read the seven Mad Men for at least one. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm going to fail on my goals for this month, which is a little disappointing. Um, but you know, things happen. Uh, it is uh, Monday night. I am here 
before my wrap up. Um, as you can see, things got better, but not great. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to remember to link all the bands below. I'm really disappointed that I didn't get any footage of uh, Savida or uh, Como Chim Chimbita, I think. Um, but I was just like so in it that I like wasn't I wasn't thinking about that at all um and I'm trying to link them below and then we saw another band um I, I'm pretty sure that was yesterday my sense of time is all whacked whacked it's all not good um uh, but we saw uh, Federale and then we saw a band open for them Jenny something I think uh and I, I had little clips of both of them, so I'll try to remember to link all of these musicians down below. Um, highly recommend all of them. Uh, so, yeah, I finished uh, this week four um, of these little guys. I finished uh, The Garden of Working Paths by Jorge Luis Borges, and this is translated by Donald A. Yates, Andrew Hurley, and James E. Irby. Um, it was a collection of different... Uh, short stories. I think the Book of Sand was my favorite one, but I'll talk about that when I wrap it up a little bit. Um, and then uh, three Japanese short stories. And this is, this was really, really good. Um, it's from, I guess it's, it says these three short story, three stories are from the forthcoming Penguin Book of Japanese short stories. Um, and they're translated by Jay Rubin and it's Behind the Prison by Nagai Kafu. Closet LLB by Uno Koji and General Kim by Akutagawa Ryunosuke. Oh, that, that, I lost it there. Um, and then I read uh, The Survivor by Primo Levi, which is a collection of short uh, poems. And this is uh, translated by Jonathan Galassi. And then I also read um, Girl Interpreted by Susanna Kaysen. So um, I finished more things than none, um, but still not like... What I was hoping for. So now I'm kind of like uh, thinking I'm not really sure what to do. So it's the 27th. Uh, I'm probably going to read a little bit more. It's already almost 11 p.m. though and I have to like clean the litter box, feed the cats, and uh, fold laundry. <laughs> I'm not reading anymore tonight. I'm, that's a joke. Um, so I have the 28th, the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st. I've got four days left. I've read 21 things and I was trying to read you know, 30 books in 30 days, uh, which means I would need to read nine things in four days. So, and I do have more uh, of these short books. So I've got, uh, you know, two, two of the Fabers and two more of the, I guess three more of the modern um, classics, the modern uh, minis. I do have some like of the classic classics, but I think those are going to be harder to read. So I've got five here one two three four five but I'm just gonna share with you my like t the books that were left for my TBR um, so first of all I really need need to I would like to finish the autobiography of Malcolm X um, I am actually not this far into the book because I skipped the intro and the intro is like 70 pages so I'm not that far into this book um, technically and then um, the seven madmen I've also just like barely started. I, I think I'm gonna not be able to finish this. So these are the two books that I've started that I would like to finish. Um, and then these other books I had on my list as things that I wanted to read. Um, How We Get Free, Black Feminism, and the Kombahi River Collective, edited by Kianga Yamata Taylor. Um, and then this one, which is Hummingbird by Jude Angelini. Um, Kiss Me Someone, which is a short story collection by Karen Shepard, and um, a song for Issy Bradley by Karis Brace. <laughs> Obviously that's not happening. I should have read more this weekend. Um, I'm just wondering what your opinion on the situation is. I should probably not even look at these, right? I feel like my instinct is to abandon all of these for the month and not even touch them and to just attempt to finish these two books. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, do you think it's silly for me to 
try to read these when I should probably try to finish these. I think that's what I should do. I think I should just abandon them. It's just like one day. It's just like I just want to check it off. Like, oh, I read 30 books in 30 days one time and just check it off and move on with my life. But I think I've already missed the boat on it this month. So uh, maybe I'll try again like in the fall. But I don't think... Uh, I don't think that I should focus. I think I should focus on these two books. Um, I would like your opinion on that if you have one. Um, yeah, I have a lot of books that I still have to wrap up. I have all of these things to talk about. Um, so hopefully I have time for that. I do have a friend coming into town this weekend also, which is going to make it harder, but she's got plans, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, and yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, I... Haven't been reading any magazines, and I have a lot of stuff to do, so I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.